if you can't tell by the title down below, we are going to be talking about periods. I don't know, there's, there's been a lot of stuff leading up to this video. I think part of it's going to be a rant, a ramble. Uh, some of it's going to be useful. I'm going to be talking about products that I've been using, uh, some experiences that I've had. So yeah, uh, you know, feel free to watch and if you're not comfortable with this subject, feel free to click out of this video and go watch one of my old videos or wait for the next one. Um, if you're interested, stick around, feel free, why not, that's why I'm making it. Hmm. So, periods are a very touchy subject. They're very taboo and I don't understand why because it's a natural thing. Pretty much everybody with a uterus bleeds, so I don't know why it's not talked about no more than what it is. Anyway, moving on, I want to talk about some new products that I have been trying, that have been working wonders. Yeah, I, from when I got my first period up until a few months ago, I was using, you know, disposable period products. Now I had heard about things like the period cup, the period underwear, the like cloth pad things that like clip around your underwear. Like I'd heard about all of that and I was skeptical. Cups, I was like, mm, that's extremely confronting. You know, that's a lot of very invasive. And I was like, period underwear, like mm, that's a bit gross. I've actually had a period cup for some time now, probably a year. I tried it once when I first got it and I failed miserably. I didn't do my research. I didn't look into how to properly, properly like care for it, how to insert it, how to remove it, like how all that works. I didn't look into any of that stuff. So I failed miserably and it scared me for the longest time. And then I just, I was spending so much money on pads and tampons and I was just absolutely chewing through them. And I thought that I would give the cup another try. It took a lot of getting used to. It was extremely confronting, but you know what? It worked. I got one called the Organic Cup. I will link it down below for anybody who wants to check it out. Um, the medical grade silicone, roughly, I think it was about like 30 bucks. So a few months ago, I brought a couple of pairs of Bonds period underwear because I was like, okay, on the days where I don't want to, you know, muck around with the cup. And I don't have pads or anything like that, so what am I going to do? So I got period underwear. I was sceptical at first. I was like, mm, this is going to be gross. There's no way this is going to work. Oh my god. <laughs> they blew my mind. Holy crap. Like, oh, it's so much better than having sticky, gross, plastic pad all day. Nah, yuck. Mm-mm. So much more comfortable. The, there's, it just it feels like you're wearing normal underwear. I was really curious, so I worked it out for the products that I was buying and the places I was buying the disposable products from. A 32 packet of organic tampons equaled eight dollars ninety five cents. This is all in Australian dollars, by the way, which would equal a hundred and seven dollars and four cents per year. And now the cup. They say it will last you about five years and then you gotta replace it. So over five years, a 32 packet of organic tampons sets me back nearly $430. For the pads, they equal about $6 per packet, which equals $72 a year. Over five years, it was $288 dollars. Grand total over five years, $717.06. I don't know about you, but that, that's a lot of money. Versus the organic cup, $30 to $40 that lasts you five years. You get a couple of pairs of period underwear, you get them on sale, 50 to 80 dollars however long they last mine have lasted pretty well so far you know they've been washing fine 
I don't put mine in the dryer, you know, I don't want the stitching to come undone and, and like, I've been washing mine by hand because I want to take extra care of them and it's up to you though how you do it if you look into it but like <sighs> that's that is a lot of money and a lot of saving. Not to mention the amount of waste that you're saving from going in landfill and the majority of it ends up in the ocean anyway. If you've been curious about a cup, I encourage you to try it. It's scary as hell, super confronting the first couple times you use it. Like, you know, it's just something that you've got to get used to. I don't really know how else to put it, but I've worn it out in public. It works wonders once you figure out how to use it properly and it does take time. It's scary, but stick with it and you'll, you'll see for yourself if you try it. If you're looking for a less invasive change, I do recommend the period underwear. Now the personal brand that I've gone with is Bonds just because it was the most accessible to me. Uh, in Australia, I know they've got a uh, Modi body, they've got a bigger range of styles and you know different flows and stuff like that. Uh, their price point is a bit higher. Now it all depends on what your price point is, uh, where you are in the world and, and I know that up front these products cost more but if you think about it the amount that you're spending on tampons and pads each month <laughs> it all adds up super quick. It, it adds up so fast and yes you're initially paying more but they last you so much longer and you don't have to worry about if you've run out of tampons or if you've run out of pads. Yeah look, I've been trying the cup and the underwear for a few months now and I'm a changed woman. I won't go back to disposable period products. The plastic, the price, just is the, the, the feel, no. I, I won't be going back to disposable period products ever again. So what are period underwear or period pants? Pretty much just normal underwear except it's got a nice padded layer, multiple layers. Somehow, I don't know how it works, the blood gets sucked into the middle layers and it stays dry and it doesn't leak through. How often do you need to change the period underwear? This depends on your flow. Basically for me, I've worn one pair throughout the day and I change them when I'm about to get into bed. And then that whole that pair lasts me the whole night. I have been sleeping in period underwear. That is not something that I ever thought that I would do. This was a huge concern for me. When I wore pads to bed, the pad would move and I would leak. I used to have to lay towels down just as an extra layer of protection. I did that the first night I slept with these. These don't move. These stay in place. Is there any smell with period underwear? No. There is no smell with period underwear. That smell, not your period blood. That smell is the combination of the period blood with the sanitary product that you are using. The great thing about these is, it just feels like you're wearing a normal pair of underwear. It, it doesn't feel like you're wearing a nappy, it doesn't feel like anything is bulging up the back of your pants and you know people are going to be able to see it. They're amazing. You just put them on and you forget about it. So period cup is made of medical grade silicone. I was terrified of using this at the beginning because I'm like, it's gonna get lost, I'm gonna lose it, I'm never gonna be able to find it, and then I'm gonna have to go to the hospital, the emergency room, and tell them about this embarrassing period story and how I don't know how to take care of myself as a woman or whatever. This has nowhere to go. It can only go so far. It's, it's amazing once you get over that initial fear and you learn about the placement and different folds and what works for you. It takes a bit of getting used to. I'm not gonna lie, it was very confronting when I first started using this properly. Like, very confronting. So basically, if you're gonna get a period cup, have a look online, have a look at different brands, different prices, do your research, research about different folds, how to cleanse the period cup properly. You need to take good care of it, you, you know, you know, you need to make sure that it's kept clean. Um, you don't want any bacteria or nasty stuff 
going inside of your body. My main tip, do your research about these. Even with the period underwear, make sure that you know how to care for these products properly. Yes, the initial upfront cost is more, but if you care for them properly, it will save you so much money in the long run. Um, I know that these products aren't accessible for everybody and that absolutely breaks my heart. I am by no means a, a rich person. I don't have a lot of money. I didn't really want to spend the money on these, but I'm so glad that I invested in them. All the links for the stuff that I've mentioned in this video will be in the description down below for you guys to check out. You know, I didn't know whether to go extremely into detail with this or whether to leave it short. You know, I think I'm somewhere in the middle. Yeah, you know, I've mentioned the products. I love them. Yeah, give the reusable products a go once you figure out how to use them, especially the cup. It'll change your period. <laughs> And I know that sounds cheesy, but I'm not kidding, I'm not kidding, just try it, stick with it, it'll be great. Yeah, I think that that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. I don't know, I feel like I was rambling, I didn't really have any sort of script for this or any real idea, I just had like the idea in my head of, okay, periods are extremely taboo and I'm getting sick of this shit, not being able to talk about it. So here we are. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if it wasn't your thing, I'm sorry. I just felt like I had to talk about it. If you learnt something from it, that's fantastic. Uh, if you want to know anything else, just pop a comment down below. I'll get back to you when I can. Yeah, so that's it for now, guys. I will see you all next time. Bye.